When mounting your panel to the wall, there's a couple of considerations to take for your placement. The first one is the actual distance from the floor to the height of the panel. Now it actually has less to do with the actual height of the box of the panel and more to do with the highest device in the panel, which is going to be most of the time your main breaker. So to the center of this handle right here, the maximum height that this can be uh, placed at is six feet, seven inches. Uh, I would actually recommend just going with six foot, six inches, six and a half feet up from the floor to the center of the handle of your main breaker is the maximum height that you would want to place your panel at. Now that we know the maximum height, let's go look at a couple of panels that have been installed sort of recently, uh, in the last 10 years anyway, and just see how high those were installed. This panel was installed around 2002 sometime, I do believe, and so let's take a quick look at how high they placed this. Looks like they went with 48 inches about to the handle of the breaker, but to the top, uh, about four and a half feet. So it looks like that's kind of what they use. They're like, hey, let's let's put it four and a half feet uh, to the top of the box. So even though this panel could have been a couple feet higher, just fine, having it a little bit lower really doesn't have many negatives other than I guess it's maybe a little bit more accessible for like uh, kids or something could theoretically reach this. But that actually might not be a bad thing if you know you have a, an eight year old and you train them or show them where they can turn off the main power. It's probably not a bad thing anyway. And as far as your height placement here, it doesn't really impact like the surroundings very much. Basically, we need to have a total of 30 inches across that doesn't have any major things that are blocking the space. So you can see 30 inches comes all the way over to there. And it's fine if the panel is crowded to either side of that 30 inches. It can be all the way to the left or to the right. It doesn't have to be centered. So 30 inches over and then coming out from the panel, we need to have 36 inches. You wouldn't be able to put anything permanent within that space. So you couldn't put like a desk or anything pushed up against here because technically that would reduce the accessibility to that panel. All right, let's go take a look at another one. Right here is an interesting example. We have a, an old main panel and they added a sub panel next to it. And this is definitely towards the upper limit of the height that you could place this at. We're at about six foot, six inches. I think we're within that range. I can't get my tape measure all the way back at the moment. Either way, that's about as tall or as high as you'd be able to install this panel. If they installed a main breaker in this panel, which they wouldn't because it's a sub panel, but if they did, that I think would be out of the range of that six foot six or six foot seven. So you can see it's a pretty wide range of height that is acceptable for installing the panel. So I think we're gonna go somewhere in between. I'm gonna also base it on how much wire I have available for that panel out there. I have just enough and so that's gonna determine the height a little bit as well. So you can set your panel as high as six foot six inches to the handle of your main breaker. Now personally, I like to keep it a little bit lower than that, so what I like to do typically is set the top of my panel at six feet off the floor, which is what we have here, and then our handle naturally ends up being at five and a half feet or so. So that's a great height for being able to just work on the panel really nicely. Everything is kind of uh, easily in arm's reach. You can see this is a little bit smaller panel that we're using, but if it were a larger panel, it would simply continue down a little bit further, like let's say down to here. So that would still be a really comfortable, accessible height, easy to work on, and all that sort of a thing. I also measured out from this wall over here, so from this edge all the way over to here, this is 30 inches. So this is the point at which you would not be able to install anything around this. It needs to be clear 36 inches out in front of it, and then for a full 30 inches wide in front of the panel. Now the panel could be shifted all the way over to the left or to the right of that 30 inch space. I went ahead and just centered it because it gave me enough room on this side to work over there if need be. Now you also wouldn't technically be able to run a bench in front of this right here so take that into consideration. If you have the option you could put your panel somewhere near or even behind a door like over here for example. They still consider it to be readily accessible even if a door can be opened up against it temporarily. So theoretically you could have hung it over here. You know this space right in front of the door can never really have anything behind it anyway except for right now. Uh, but that will naturally prevent you from you know building something in front of the panel so in this case this is where our power is coming up on the outside of the building over there so we're just going to keep it in this corner comment down below and let me know what your guys's opinion is on how high do you install your electrical boxes typically and uh, if you have any other random things that you've encountered or 
uh, stories about things that were supposed to be accessible but weren't, or if you ever had to move a panel because the inspector said it was out of spec for its location. All right, thanks a lot for watching. I'll put a couple videos here on the screen for you guys to choose from, and we'll talk to you over there in just a few seconds. See ya.